Hey there team, what is going on? It is Nicknack here and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon, the series where I'm going to try to make this episode a lot shorter than the last one. All right, I've got a timer set. We're, we're prepared to make this video a little bit shorter. Dead Isle 2 is off the market. It was like our second bust in a row. Look at this. Game history. We lost 162,000 in FIFA. FIFA right before that lost 45,000. We're not doing very well, but all that's about to change with the new Make Games Great Again version 2 which we'll be developing, you know, we gotta make a new game to show off this new technology. We can't develop a sequel. All right, make games great. Oh shoot, I did hashtag one in V2. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to live with myself for that. It's fine, I'm not, I'm not upset. All right, uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What kind of game do we wanna make? Do we wanna make a alternate history adventure game? That's what I'm thinking. Pick a platform, adventure games. Well, I would love to develop for the play system, but adventure games aren't really its thing. Uh, adventure game, we're gonna make this for mature audiences on the PC, uh, cause that's a really good mix right there. Look at that. Mature, adventure, it's gonna do great. Making game great, version two. Mature, what are we gonna call this game? Our alternate history, adventure game. What are we gonna go back to is the question. Hmm. I'm thinking we go to um, early American history. Let's do early American history. Um, let's do that thing, that one famous story, um, which I forget the name of, the Battle of Bunker Hill, you know? All right, we're gonna call this Battle of Bunker Ditch. I I'm messing up history um, right now. I can't even remember what it's called. All right, do we wanna, this is our first game developed with 3D graphics version one, or do we wanna go for the new 2D graphics version three? I kind of want to work on our 3D graphics skills, so let's go with 3D graphics version 1 for this game. And this is kind of like what I think these kind of games have fallen into these days. Like, they're horrible games with these, like, really trashy graphics. Um, that's kind of what you get out of this now. So, engine, we don't need much. Gameplay doesn't even matter. But let's go ahead and give best stories uh, in quests, go our simple cutscenes. That should be a pretty decent mix without all this kind of game. So we will try to uh, hype this game pretty good. And too much of the venue gear is coming off the market, unfortunately. Um, but that's fine. All right, we're gonna do some marketing. We're gonna do some magazines and demos. Um, we're going a little bit. We're gonna spend the bucks on this game. We only got three million dollars in the bank, uh, so we probably need to be a little bit careful. But you gotta, you gotta spend to grow. So, level design. Do we want the level editor? It costs five thousand more, but I think the level editor is a good idea. Jared Cunningham is sitting over here, whining that he needs a vacation. We don't have the money, unfortunately, to spend on a medium booth, but the small booth should be fine. Uh, hopefully it'll help Battle of Bunker Ditch sell really good when it comes out. So, world design, graphics, yeah, keep that stuff big and sound. Who the crap cares? We're gonna throw in twenty thousand extra bucks just to make sure our world design is the top is top notch. All right, looking good. This is mod you can get for this game that shows the percentages at the bottom for uh, the like after, as you move the sliders, which I might go ahead and throw on here because holy crap, that'd be really nice actually if I could see what percentage each thing did. So. Jared, I need you to squat. Wow, I yelled at him and he, he worked. <laughs> I feel a little bad about that, actually. All right, Battle of Bunker Ditch, getting some hype at G3. We already racked up 39, 40, oh my goodness, 59,000 people visited our booth this year. Probably didn't make the top 100. No, we didn't. But, hey, we got some, we got some hype for our game from it, so that's good. 59,000 people visited, we only have 20,000 fans. Venue gear is no longer sported. Battleford Bunker Ditch is ready. Look at that. We upgraded our engine and our dialogues, which is nice. And we are well on our way to upgrading our 3D graphics. So, new research, video playback, and dialogue tree. Jared Cunningham, if you could please get out of here on a vacation, because Mr. Trump has some game reports to do, and these are difficult. <laughs> They're very difficult. All right. First reviews for Battle of Bunker Ditch came in, and it looks like they're going to like it. They're not going to love it. Uh, based on Star Games rating, but Inform Gamer and Star Games have both given us a solid 8, as well as Game Hero. Leave it to all games to give us another 8. 8's all around. I'm calling it a success. We should make money. Uh, simulation's big right now, so I think that means it's time to develop a sequel to one of our most famous simulation games, Surgeon Stimulator. Really, where the cash started to flow in. And with the new 3D graphics version 1, to back this game up, it should do excellent. Alright, Surgeon Stimulate, stimulation. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Surgeon Stimulation. All right, it's a simulation game for everyone. I think we developed this for the gameling, right? No, no, no. Simulation game for everyone. Let's do it on the PC. I think we developed something else for the gaming. We'll put it on the brand new Making Games Great version two. 
3D graphics version one. I mean, I think 2D graphics version three would be better, but we have to start working on 3D graphics. I think I mentioned in the previous video, I had played this game a little bit and I got not on this save, but on a different save. And I had gotten really far and then I realized that, ooh, we gotta get all that good stuff. Mm, that feels good. Anyways, I found out I, uh, 2D graphics eventually gets left behind uh, and you need to get to the 3D graphics, and I had never worked on it. I just thought my 2D graphics would continue getting better, but eventually it, it caps out at like level five, and 3D graphics goes to like 10, and I never got to that, but but it keeps leveling up. Graphics quite important for Battle of Bunker Ditch, our alternate history action or venture game. So we got a little hype already coming right into Sturgeon Stimulator, which is good. We'll go ahead and throw some magazine and demos on the heap, and look at that, hype of nine already, and like we're just sitting stage two. Looking good. All right, dialogues. We don't need better dialogues. That's trash. We'll save the 5,000 bucks uh, just to make sure. Artificial intelligence. It's so hard when there's like two pluses. It's like, how do you balance that? Because I feel like they both are like probably really important. Okay. Hype is almost 20 as we roll into stage three of development. Graphic, sound. We're going to throw some stereo sound in there. That'll be good. World design is not that important for this kind of game, so we will just not do the day and night cycle. It doesn't need to be open world. It's a stimulation game. A simulation game. <laughs> now I'm just not going to be able to do those words right ever. All right, a little more sound maybe. Uh, we'll just throw in like a smidgen of world design. You know, well, I don't know. We want to be careful with it. We want to be careful. We'll, we'll just be gentle. All right, looking good. Hype of 20. Looks like we're going to end about 25 here as we roll in to the finishing. Proposition. A9, no, we're not going to do that. This is a very special offer. Main guys is one of our critical systems of your competitors. Do we want to sabotage our competitors? No. No, we're, we're, we're going to play it honest, guys. We're just going to make games. That's what Kevin is all about. He does not want to sabotage. And Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump is never, ever, ever done any dirty business. Ever. All he has done is make the most huge business he can possibly do while never hurting anyone else in the process, guys. Look at that, we're almost at 3D graphics version two. I thought we would get there in this game, but we did not. Jared and Kevin are like neck and neck trying to level up. Kevin just did a little bit of gaining on him right there, you can see. But I, I got faith that Jared is gonna make this promotion first before you, Kevin. All right, Surgeon Stimulator, it's ready. It's time to make a game report, Mr. Trump. All right, first reviews for our new release game, Surgeon Stimulator came in. Oh, are they gonna love it? Are they gonna love it? Even if they don't love it, it's okay. I mean, it'll make money because it's popular. Oh, what is this? Star Games in eight, but Inform Gamer a solid all games. All the games has given me a ten, but Star Games has let me down. What the crap? This has never happens like this. All games is usually the pessimist, but I am starting to like Mr. Lewis working over at All Games, which is totally his name. All right, Battle of Bunker Ditch seems to have done okay in the cash department, right? Uh, this is not my money yet. 425,000? Yeah. So we, we, we've made money at least. Uh, but look at this. We're about to crush 50,000 our first week of sales. No problem on Surgeon Stimulation. Okay, we didn't crush it at all. We were 37,000. Okay, but we made money. Uh, that's what's important. Uh, I'm glad we were able to make a simulation game while they're pop popular too. Graphics seem to be very important for this kind of game. And unfortunately, we're still developing on the original 3D graphics version one. But that's fine. All right. Uh, Mr. Trump, if you could... Do me the honors, please, of developing a brand new topic. We're gonna get a mystery. That sounds like a fun topic. And you know what? Could you go ahead and research something big? Let's do some big stuff. If you could research uh, character progression for our gameplay. And Kevin, if you could research dialogue tree. This is gonna challenge which one of you can promote. I've been playing Surgeon Stimulation and have tremendously enjoyed the experience. The computer controlled entities in this game are so incredibly convincing that I taught my, that I caught myself talking at them at times. Rarely will a game captivate you as much as Surgeon Stimulation. Tom Mott Center. Don't know what that means, but that's cool. Mr. Mott Center. Mr. Mott Center? I don't know. All right, Surgeon Stimulation. How are we doing the cash form for this game? We've made 470,000 and we're only on week six of this. Oh my goodness. That's fantastic. All right, we've made a couple of successes after a couple of huge disasters. Uh, they weren't huge disasters, but they were flops. We did not make money. Uh, what the game doesn't account for is all the money you spent during that time that you lost. It, we did make this game. Go to chess, boss, mini boss. That's what I'm talking about. All right. We've got some research done, but unfortunately for them, we're going to have to roll into a brand new mystery mature game for everyone. A mystery adventure game for everyone. Um, Adventure. 
and mature. It's just got to be PC. We already developed... That last game was a mystery adventure game, though, right? Battle of the Bunker Dish? No, it was a history adventure game. I don't think... I think this will be okay to develop. I don't think they'll be mad. I think the audience will love us. So we'll develop for the PC because those topics work really well. A mystery adventure game for mature audiences. And what is this mystery going to be called? You know what? This movie's coming out soon. We'll do The Murder on the Oriental... Ex Wait, I'm pretty sure I I made this game the last time I Let's Played <laughs> Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, whatever, we're going to have to stick with it. These, these Agatha Christie games always have the trashiest graphics and these like awful 3D graphics. So we're going to stick with 3D graphics version 1. I don't know if you ever see them. They sell them at Walmart. I don't know what studio is behind these awful like creations. They're trash. I've played way too much of them and they're still just the trashiest trash, trash, trash ever. All right, we're going to do mostly... I don't want to... This is tough. All right, we're not going to do much in the engine department. We'll do save game because that's important. Gameplay, we don't need game. Better user experience. You know, we need better users. We don't need tutorials. Stories and quests, though. All the way, baby. All right. We'll get rolling into this. We'll do some marketing right now. We'll do some magazines and demos. Kevin. Kevin Nichols. How can you expect to beat out Jared on this promotion, get that raise before him, like this. Honestly, this game doesn't need a level editor. Honestly, man, really, like, how can you expect to be Jared out when you're, like, sitting here like, I need to take a vacation. All right, we made a million dollars off that game. That's pretty wicked. We're at $3.4 million, which is down quite a bit, considering we started this video, I think, with, like, $5 million. But let's not look at the downside. Always look on the bright side of life. Uh, There's a good song about that. Uh, man, we cannot afford stereo sound with this. So we're going to have to stick with basic sounds, but world design, we're going to throw our day and night cycle and our open world. Uh, fantastic. Yeah, let's get a little more extreme with that, actually. That looks good. All right, Kevin, your vacation's coming real soon. Chill your butt, okay? Just chill. Actually, yeah, chill your butt. Keep it in that seat. Don't move. <sighs> I cannot believe him. He's up for promotion. He's competing head-to-head -head with Jared. Who's going to get the money first? The market's normalized with no particular strong chance. It doesn't matter. It wasn't making a simulation game anyways. All right, we don't have any bugs in the game. We got a good design. This might be a record for design. It is a record for design, actually. Level design even leveled up after this. And 3D graphics version 1 is leveled up, so hopefully we can research 3D graphics version 2. And maybe some research some other stuff. So, release the game. Easter eggs are available to research. All right, Kevin Nichols, get out of here. No one likes you. Especially not Jared. All right, generate game report from Murdy on the Oriental Express. They came in. They came in, and it looks like, man, we're just really average today. Nothing like, just like huge, ex like exploding success, but all games is really liking us. Like, it's another, he's our high rating. So we're just like doing pretty average, you know? Like 7.25, I mean 9.25 is pretty, really good. That's a good score, I shouldn't say we're doing average. Eight is pretty average. These are like not good at all, but this is not like, not a day I think we're gonna get that perfect 10 so far at least. So maybe what we need to do is develop all the latest console. I think that's, it'll be an investment, but we'll develop one more game before we work on a new engine, probably. We're going to develop for the play system, so we need an action game for everyone is what's hot with this system. All right. So, what would be a good action game? Um, comedy. No. Sp Ooh, I want one that's good with... If wow, none of these are really... None of these are doing it for me, guys. Uh, we're going to research some new topics here real fast then. Uh, fantasy. Fantasy action. That's got to be a, a hit, right? Uh, let's go ahead and research law. We might eventually make a law game. Um, but fantasy action might be a hit. I feel like fantasy adventure is probably a little bit better. Business action, guys. A business action game. Trust me. No one's seen it yet. And that's not because it's a bad idea. No one's seen it yet because it's the best idea. All right. The TES 64. All right. We got to get this game out for the play system before the TES. Blah. I just skipped all that dialogue. I'm so sorry if you were like really involved in the epic story that this game was telling, but it's not happening. All right, fantasy, game for everyone. It's an action game. It's on the play system. It's called, um, <laughs> oh, come on, what's that, what's it called? Oh, Final Fan, it can't be Final Fantasy. What's another good one for that? Final 
Wow, there's no nothing good's coming to mind that ends with C at the end, like that sound. Uh, we get we don't we can't just rip off. We we know our own titles. We're gonna call this Fan Taction. Fan Taction. There we go. I'm so sorry. Picking great game titles is not my gift. All right, it's an everyone game. It's fantasy. It's action. It's for the play system. Making games great. Version two. 2D graphics version 3? I think we do 2D graphics version 3. We haven't used it yet, and I want to keep my 2D graphics going, you know. Pretty hardcore. We're going to crank up the engine. It's an action game. Good gameplay. Story and quests, not that important. We don't even need simple cutscenes. I mean, I would love simple cutscenes, honestly, but we will put in all the work for that, though. Beautiful. All right. I think I've been I've been holding off a little bit on the plus 2s and giving more weight to the plus 3s than I should, and that may be why our games are coming out average. So we're going to try to be a little smarter here. Oh, crap. I was going to do some marketing. Jerk. All right, AI, level design and dialogues. Gross, we don't need better dialogues. We just need a level editor, baby. All right, looking good. We're gonna do some big old marketing. This is the one, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some magazines and demos. I really wanna do a small campaign, I promise. I'm dying to do the small campaign. Uh, medium booth, can we afford it? No, it's 500,000, not gonna happen. We'll do the small booth, uh, which will be really good for Fantaction. Um, when Fantaction comes out, they're gonna know what I'm all about. You know what I'm saying, guys? Right, we're gonna do day and night cycle, I guess. Um, it'll be like those games. Um, what are they? Where like you get like the uh, you get the cutscenes when you like punch person a certain way, and like it'll change from day to night. That's what that is in this game. You know, like, if you play like fighting games these days, like you can get like animations if you like hit people certain ways into certain areas, and you like go to new areas of the maps and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? I think I saw this in that um, Marvel or that DC superhero game, like Injustice or something. Uh, I'm not cool. I don't play modern games. Uh, that's why I'm playing like this game probably came out five years ago now and I'm still playing this because I love it uh, Proposition. Oh my goodness. You know what? I can borrow some research. Ooh. Oh Agent Blowfish. Now we're gonna decline it, but man, that'd be good. I, I Sometimes want to do it. I mean, there's a there's a little bit of bad I think in me because I really want it All right, we set a new technology record with this game. Any new, not really any major upgrades. Oh, oh but it looks like they both arrived at the same time at level four. But Kevin definitely was continuing his catch-up game was strong. Because look at that. He, he definitely worked a little harder there. All right. But they both expect more money. And Kevin's expecting more cash. He expects 47000 Well, Jared expects forty six, But these guys are just trash. Whatever. All right. G3. Let's see how we did. Fantaction is about to have the best first week ever for a game. 70000 70, That's up like 20000 last year, I think. All right. We didn't make the top 100 booth, but I'm sure we will soon. All right, Mr. Trump, if you could please do me the honors of generating this game report for Fantaction as we get the reviews coming in. Oh my goodness. Wow. Quirky but good. Star Games. And for me, what do you have to say? What do you have to say? It's enjoyable. That's it? Okay. That's that's probably fair. It's a good game from Game Hero, but all games, another seven. Wow. Wow. I'm just so disappointed. I thought that was going to be the one. Fantaction, Fantaction everyone. Just sucking it up. We invested two hundred thousand dollars to build for that system too. <laughs> uh, story and quest is not very important. Yeah, we get it. But wow, um, this might be tied on the making money. We got to make two hundred fifty thousand. Uh, Murder on the Oriental Express to be just a little bit of money. But wow, what a disappointment! What an actual disappointment. Uh, we're definitely not quite where we can uh, do much uh, in the sense of new stuff. Ooh, movie stuff. All right, this is fine. We're getting lots of new topics. There's a lot of topics in this game, actually. We're gonna just like knock out some more topic researches. I know we could be saving this for technology, but I mean, honestly, a werewolf game, when you can be making a game about werewolves, you make a game about werewolves and a dance game. All right, we're gonna get these games researching. Uh, Fantaction has just been a little bit of a disaster. We might still make money off of it just a bit, but overall, I think we'll lose money for the time and put it and everything, so. That's a little bit of a disappointment, especially after that big investment. But anyways, uh, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Um, I, I was really hoping to end on such a huge high note uh, with this game, but maybe our high note can be, look at that, we made 6.3 thousand. Uh, that's probably almost all we're going to make off it, but we made some cash, so it was all worth it, right? Right? All right, next time, guys, we're going to come back. We're going to be making a lot better games than we just made, um, for sure. I think fantasy action is probably not... The greatest combination. I can't remember what it just told me if that was a good combination or not. Let's. Did it tell me? Fantasy, action. It is a great combo. 
Then I have no excuse. I don't know why that game sucks so much, but whatever. Anyways, guys, like I said, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.